Towards the end of last year, the Muslim community in Uganda witnessed the murder of two leaders raising questions as to who is behind the Muslim murders. Police Chief General Kale Kaihura, however, released the report, telling the country that the killings were masterminded by the ADF rebels. Critics had been previously approached by agents of ADF and Al Shabaab to help in recruiting the youth into the ranks of these terrorist organizations. The critics reportedly rejected these advances and they were thus viewed as an obstacle and consequently eliminated. This was repeatedly said by other senior police officers, including the in charge of police operations, Felix Kawesi. But Muslims say the proper investigations into the matter should come out reflecting the same. We therefore strongly reject the light-hearted treatment that the killings have been given by police, leading to the unsubstantiated naming of nameless killers. ADF has a hand in this, and we still maintain that, because we have evidence that is with us, we have arrested some people, we have documentary uh, evidence that link up ADF operations in the region with the mothers going here. According to the national chairman Uganda Muslim Youth Assembly Abbas Chimba, this theory before proper investigations are done gives suspicion. Whereas two theories have since come out as what could be the cause of the killings including the internal conflict within the Muslim factions, this Muslim leader says police should adopt more proactive approach in the investigations. Therefore, for one to suggest that Muslims have started killing fellow Muslims, one must have evidence. The wave of killing Muslims has not affected only Uganda, but the entire East African region, and it remains not clear of who is behind the killings. In Kenya, the Muslims pinned their government saying such killings were political.